Good morning. I am doing an assignment on fixed income securities and need to find information related to risk and return of a bond. Can you help? Yes, of course. Let's get the data from the Bloomberg terminal. At the Bloomberg workstation, open the Bloomberg app and log in with username and password provided. We will begin with a bond market overview in this example. At the command line, type W B or World Bond Markets. Select the region to show the benchmark government bonds across countries. Now, I'll show you how to search for bonds that meet your specific criteria. Type S R C H or Fixed Income Search. In this example, we will search for bonds issued by Sun Hunkai Properties Limited. First, click on Asset Classes. Select Corporates. Then, Close. Now type Issuer Name. In the field search, and further, select it from the suggested items. Type Sun Hung Kai. And this will display a list of related companies. Sometimes you may not know which ones have issued a bond before. A quick tip is to select any one company. Then select parent company and all subsidiaries. And then close. All bonds issued by Sun Hung Kai affiliated companies will be returned. Also feel free to click on Fields and specify other criteria if needed. When done, click Results to view the meshes. Click on a particular bond to see its related functions. Usually, the first thing to look into a bond is the security description. Click Day. All the basic but important information on the bond is shown. For example, the maturity and bond type give you an idea on interest rate risk and the bond ratings. And the rank help you assess the credit risk. How about the liquidity risk of bond? Here you go. Click A L L Q on the left menu. Here is a list of all the market makers where you can assess whether the bond can be easily traded or not. Many thanks. Now, you may want to do some historical analysis of the bond. Let's start with a historical price graph by typing G P. Specify the date range to compare the current price with its historical level and analyze the price trend. What if I want to find the yield graph? That's easy. Simply G Y or yield chart. That's so cool. Do you know which indicator is commonly used to gauge the bond risk? I think it's yield spread. Bingo. To get the data, type R V M or relative value by maturity. The yield spread between the bond and U.S. bond of the same maturity is shown. One can tell whether the bond is relatively expensive or not by comparing the current spread with its historical level. To make a wise investment, we better analyze the potential return on a bond. Let's type Y A S to call up a yield and spread analysis. That helps you estimate the risk and return. Any highlighted fields in orange are changeable. Change any one of the spread, price, or yield fields to calculate the other two. How about we change the spread to 100 B P S? Sure. The price and yield is recalculated based on new spread. We can also factor in spread and interest rate risk for our analysis. That's convenient. Another useful function is fees. 
or fixed income, horizon analysis. It allows you to estimate the potential return if the holding period is before the maturity date or if the reinvestment rate is altered, etc. Now, the total return and the holding period return is recalculated based on your changed assumption. Wow! Now I can start the project right away. Thanks for your great help. You are welcome. If you need further help, please contact Bloomberg Help Desk or Faculty Librarian.